coach, maybe not the start you wanted, but an incredible second half. What's your overall thoughts on that game? Well, a tale of two halves, obviously. I don't think we started on time. Um, I'm not an excuse guy, but we didn't get a chance to practice while our bags weren't here. So we ran around with different shoes and different sticks. So I think that, that definitely was a factor. We don't drop all those balls and make those mistakes or start so slow. So I think that's, that's something we need to overcome. We can't, you know, that's maybe the first quarter, maybe they're down 3 nothing, But to have them build such a lead over it, is, that's not all the reason why it was. But maybe our guys were a little bit sluggish. We didn't get a chance. We have a way when we come off bye weeks, what we do, we have a good process. We never got to do that process. So again, that's not an excuse, but it contributed to our slow start, I thought. Just, but, just looking at that second half, I mean, I was scoring San Diego, holding them off. Was that about this team this year? Well, you challenge the guys in, in the room at the half and you see what you're made of. And, you know, it's everyone I've said before, your character check when it's, you know, ride high on the hog is, is pretty easy to detect. But when you're in the gutter and you're fighting, you're battling the blood and the beer, then, you know, you're, uh, that really shows your character of your team. And we never quit. And, uh, you know, we came down right down to the end. And, you know, in this league, you can't let teams go on runs. We beat Vancouver last week, and they didn't get more than one goal in a row. But these guys just went on a run. Or when we score, we have to be able to stop them, make a stop, and come back the other way and get another one. But they would put it right back in our net. And that's just really, really tough to battle in a game like that when you're always, like, chasing the game, chasing the game, chasing the game. So for our guys to show up in the second half, I was really proud of them. But they got to remember that we didn't start on time and we lost the game. Well, Tyler Pace, I mean, he was frustrated with himself in the first couple of games. But... Nine points tonight, he had an incredible game. Your thoughts on him? Well, he'll tell you that he doesn't think he was good, and he'll tell you we lost, so that's all that matters. So I'm not a, I'm not a total, like when we lose, I really don't care what the guys get for points, all due respect. But, he, you know, he is one of our leaders, so for him personally, that's good. But, you know, we lost the game, and so we, we have to find out how to get those nine points earlier in the game and hit those shots earlier in the game. Because to get them later is one thing, but, you know, and I know he'll tell you that. He'll be the first one to say, I need to be better in the first half, and I need to contribute early because then we're not down. So there were some bright spots, and I appreciate you asking and mentioning for the bright, positive parts of it, and that's what I like about you. You're always trying to find a good positive, but uh, yeah, I'm not happy with it. Well, looking at Delves, uh, maybe a frustrating start for him, but what do you say to him when he kind of comes off the bench and a little bit frustrated with himself? He needs to trust me, man. He needs to trust me that I'm not pulling. Look at those goals. They're dunks. They're rebound backhanders. None of those were his fault. We're down, the five goals were not his fault. I'm pulling it for momentum. You have to trust me. Him and I are like such good friends off the floor. And I love the guy so much. It goes well beyond this game. He, I'll be at his house at 12 o'clock at night and he freaking knows it. So he needs to trust me when I'm making a decision bit that's best for the team that it's not him because he gets so emotional. And that's what I love about him, man. He cares so much. He wants to win the game. If he could go play on the power play, he'd go play on the power play. And, and that's, what, that's, a, that's why he is so good. But in that situation, it's just take a minute. They're not on you, but I need to break momentum some way, that, shape, or form. In the first quarter, I can't bang a timeout, then I lose my ability to control the clock on the flag. So little things like that, he just has to trust that what we got going on is going to work out. And that's just him wanting to make a difference. And it's not a bad thing. It's just sometimes you care too much. And, and uh, you know, you just got to trust, and you just got to dial it back, and you just got to, you just got to, you know, trust in the process, and it'll come around. Because he does his job every night, man, every night. And I don't worry about him, ever. He certainly did make some uh, positive plays too offensively. Uh, some big plays to season. You know, looked like he ran a good post route, if you will. And, yeah. and uh, you know, got a couple goals for it. That was a great, great pass. And you know, that was a dirty area catch. A guy's coming off the bench or going up with one hand. And the guy's chasing you. You know, there's a good chance where you can bail on that. And he caught the ball. But and I thought, I thought the turning point of the game outside us getting back is we got it to nine four, and we had a uh, five on three power play, and we didn't score on it. And I was going to call a timeout then. But Dobie was stuck on the floor, and uh, the way he played, I actually should have to get him off the floor because he intercepted one and soaked one. But I think right then and there, if he wasn't out there and the short man was out there, I would have banged a timeout and probably ran, it, ran a little set play on that. And then we could get it to 9 6, it might have changed it. So, as much as I come at the guys about starting the game, I got to own a little bit right there. But uh, maybe just me overthinking, we take advantage of Dobes, and, you know, he stepped up and did a good job. So, I thought that was a bit of a turning point where I could have been better. And uh, there's some things that they did that came out early on us. And we adjusted later in the game in the second half, we made those adjustments. But I think making those adjustments really, really quick in the game maybe changes the complexity of it. Earlier in your career, you focused on five on five offense, wanting to get your offensive players on the floor versus your transition guys. It seems like your transition guys now have the green light to, to take the opportunity when they see it. Is that a difference in coaching philosophy or is it a difference in the player person? Well, yeah, like what did, what, did, what did our Calgary boys get? They got 11 other 17 goals. 
that's that's 11 goals and I don't have each every night. And I love the guys we have, but it's a maturation process with our young guys. I, I can't walk out and take the air out of the ball and give it to Dane and Curtis and Bergie and say, go, go find us one. It doesn't happen that way. I have to play by committee and the young guys are learning. So I can't go, hey, you guys go figure it out. Right, right. It's, it's, oh, we're trying to win games. We just can't let them figure it out, figure it out, figure it out. So we got to go and try to find goals if we can. And then the offense can figure it out as the, as the game organically goes along. But uh, yeah, the philosophy has got to be different. That's not taking anything away with the guys we got. I love our group, man. I freaking really like the guys I have up front. It's just going to take them time to find their roles and figure it all out. So we're going to push the piss out of the ball if we can. And then if we can settle it down and get some good looks. And if we're not working in transition and I find our 5 out 5s hot, we're going to take the air of it and put it in the right sticks at the right time. So if you watch the game closely, you'll see that's kind of what we do.